Hi everyone. So I'm going to show you my what I call solar generator go box for the IC705. Um, creating a prototype so I can take it to um, the ARRL field day, um, which is held, uh, what is that, the last Saturday of the month of June. So I'm creating this uh, go box. Uh, that will uh, help me um, not only protect the IC705, but also give me the power that I need um, to run it all day. Now, I bought an ammo box from Harbor Freight and created some holes uh, on one side here where the lid is, or the lock for the lid. I put a hole for a switch and for a dial. I uh, made an extra hole by mistake. I uh, made another hole for a BNC female connection, which allows me to connect to the radio, so I can connect the antenna outside. And then I made another hole um, so that I can place uh, the uh, connection for the solar panel. So the box is relatively inexpensive, and what's inside is pretty different from my other um, solar uh, solar generator that runs my 7300 and sometimes will run also my um, IC705 so this setup is different uh, and let me explain the parts so that you can have an idea of how to create your own the heart is this is the uh, MPPT 150 14.6 um, input for the solar is 16 through 25 volts and for the battery goes from 14.6 volts 12 amps okay um, I did I believe I got rid of the kind of like the standard solar connections I clipped those off I put some Anderson power poles um, definitely like the color coding of the Anderson power poles to, sh to demonstrate that this is going to be solar. This is going to be outside of the box here. Um, I did something like this where I have the Anderson power poles. I slide it in there. I put a pin there. Um, and then you lock it in there so this will stay nice. And then you can test this out to see if it fits nicely and it does and so this will go to the solar controller so when I'm ready of course I plug this to the solar panel and that will uh, start doing something in here so that I can get some power for the battery uh, to charge the battery now one of the things about the battery is that uh, it's a bioanal, uh, 12 volt, 3 amp hours. So it's a, not a very large battery, but it's very thin and very uh, flat. So this needs to be connected to this, of course. But if that's the case, then it would just charge the battery and I wouldn't be able to charge or turn on the radio. So what do I do? This is my hub for now. So I'm going to use this, hook up the um, solar controller, and then I can also connect the battery. So now, the uh, when I connect to the solar panel, solar controller, will be charging the battery. Now, with the BioAnno, um, I don't need the hub. It's already built in to the system and it the system, this uh, solar controller, is able to take a load. That's one thing that the Power Mini doesn't have. It doesn't have another lead to give me that, to give me the load. Um, and thus maybe less expensive. Um, 
and other things too probably which we won't get into this video okay and then um, the <clears throat> kind of like the power cable for the IC705 definitely want fuses on the wire Anderson power pole on one end so that I can connect it very easily to the hub and now I should have power to turn on my IC705 if I plug it in here you can see it turns its charging great thing about this plug and I do have a YouTube video on it uh, there's different types of uh, plugs that you can get definitely I like this angled one because when you put it in the box it's flush and if it was long um, it might uh, jiggle the port a bit and these ports these ports might be a little bit delicate maybe not but probably best practice is to have an elbow connection like that okay and that's going I have this harness here that I'm seeing more and more I'm beginning to understand how this harness works here let me move some of these things out of the way here yeah let's move that here so this part is going to be in the box here right so the box is stays like this right on the left on the left there's the two connections and I'll have a dial on the switch or a switch and a dial doesn't really matter on the left side so I can see how much power I have again not necessary but kinda cool looking uh, and it's also good to have you know um, because you know you turn the switch you find out how much power you have and then you can fill it up um, during the day let's say you're on a road trip you have your solar panel on your car you, you notice that the on the dial the power is low you turn on the switch well the switch is turns on the dial only that's it and then uh, if it's low on power on voltage then you charge it up um, so that's why I have the dial that's one of the advantages of having uh, a dial because if the buddy pull if you use the buddy pull that's going to be under all this actually is going to be under this nice little board here but if if you cover the the screen then the screen is worthless for you you're not going to take everything out and look inside so the dial is very important um, if that is something that you would like all right so all this needs to be powered of course so that gets power from the hub we'll connect on a little bit and then so this switch here has three connections as um, a negative lead and the negative is colored by a brass colored it's very hard to tell here but the connection here is brass color that's the negative and it also tells you somewhere I'm sure it does uh, but uh, the middle pin here is for the battery so if you follow this this middle pin goes directly to the battery um, this outer pin which is really loose really and I really don't like that but this outer red so it's black and two reds the red one the middle red one is for the power but the last red one sometimes it might be even called the first uh, connection that one you can see goes to the, um, the dial right and the, all the blacks all of them all the black um, uh, lines go to this Wago, which is pretty neat. You can use, you don't have to use something fancy like this, but what I like about the Wago is this. Um, don't be deceived, this takes a lot of power to melt. There's a YouTube video out there, but you lift this up and you can easily pull out with no uh, force at all the wire. You put it back in there and you close it. Look at that, that's really neat. That's fascinating. 
really clean, really nice. Um, I'll put it in the description at the bottom. I really like that. Okay, so this one. Um, everything's really running. And then you put this here. Uh, let's see, there we go. The switch is off. Let's turn it on, let's see what happens. Ooh, there we go, and there goes the dial, right? And it's a little bit hard to see on the video because of the uh, shutter speed. It doesn't, it doesn't look like that where it's like fading in and out. Again, that's the shutter speed. But uh, it says 13.2. That's pretty neat, isn't it? And the switch is the only thing that turns this off. Now, why have a switch? Why not just leave that? Well, this one takes up, what, 10 milliamps per hour, right? Yeah, that's about right. 10 milliamps, which doesn't sound like a lot. But within 24 hours, that's 240 milliamps. And in four days, that's going to be, what, one amp? Four days. Uh, four times three is, what, 12? Within 12 days, in two weeks, it'll drain this little battery. Who cares? <laughs> Let it drain, right? It's it's not a big deal. Um, it can be. It can be a big deal. Just because you might want to be um, field ready, right? You charge it, you have it there, uh, it shouldn't drain too much power. This will probably drain some power if it's connected there. And there might be in the future a switch here for it, who knows. But definitely this is going to be draining this battery uh, for sure, uh, just to keep this, this internal battery charged. And I really don't know how much is um, being taken um, away from the battery but I know there's a little bit of it and so that's kind of like the idea of how all this is gonna go inside this box which um, I think I would probably redesign it next year um, I don't even know um, if I want to utilize a box like this but who knows we'll see we'll see how it goes on um field day okay i hope that was informative please subscribe please uh consider it please consider uh, subscribing please consider giving me a thumbs up and i hope you're safe i hope to see you soon this is frank whiskey charlie zero oscar